Boolean logic and relay logic. Since the relays in a machine perform some type of control operation, it can be said that they perform a logical function. As with all logical functions, these control circuits must consist of the fundamental N, OR, and invert logical operations. Relay coils, NC contacts, and N slash O contacts can be wired to perform these same fundamental logical functions. By properly wiring relay contacts and coils together, we can create any logical function desired. N. Generally when introducing a class to logical operations, an instructor uses the analogy of a series connection of two switches, a lamp, and a battery to illustrate the N function. Relay logic allows this function to be represented this way. Figure shows the actual wiring connection for two switches, a lamp, and a battery in an N configuration. The lamp, lamp 1, will illuminate only when switch 1 and switch 2 are on. The Boolean expression for this is, lamp 1 equals, switch 1, multi P, switch 2. If we were to build this function using digital logic chips, the logic diagram for equation and circuit would appear as shown in figure. However, keep in mind that we will not be doing this for machine controls. To represent the circuit of this figure in ladder logic form in an electrical machine diagram, we would utilize the power from the rails and simply add the two switches, we have assumed these are to be push button switches, and lamp in series between the rails as shown in this figure. This added circuit forms what is called a rung. The reason for the name rung is that as we add more circuitry to the diagram, it will begin to resemble a ladder with two uprights and many rungs. There are a few important details that have been added along with the switches and lamp. Note that the added wires have been assigned the wire numbers 3 and 4 and the added components have been assigned the reference designators PB1, PB2, and L1. Also note that the switches are on the left and the lamp is on the right. This is a standard convention when designing and drawing machine circuits. The controlling devices, in this case the switches, are always positioned on the left side of the rung, and the control devices, in this case the lamp, are always positioned on the right side of the rung. This wiring scheme is also done for safety reasons. Assume for example that we put the lamp on the left side and the switches on the right. Should there develop a short to ground in the wire from the lamp to the switches, the lamp would light without either of the switches being pressed. For a lamp to inadvertently light is not a serious problem, but assume that instead of a lamp, we had the coil of a relay that started the machine. This would mean that a short circuit would start the machine without any warning. By properly wiring the control device, called the load, on the right side, a short in the circuit will cause the fuse to blow when the rung is activated, thus de-energizing the machine controls and shutting down the machine. Or, the same approach may be taken for the OR function. The circuit shown in figure illustrates two switches wired as an OR function controlling a lamp, lamp 2. As can be seen from the circuit, the lamp will illuminate if switch 1 or switch 2 is closed, that is, depressing either of the switches will cause the lamp LAMP2 to illuminate. The Boolean expression for this circuit is, lamp 1 equals switch 1, plus, switch 2. For those more familiar with logic diagramming, the OR gate representation of the OR circuit and equation is shown in figure. Again, when drawing machine controls diagrams, we do not use this schematic representation. We can now add the circuit to our ladder diagram as another rung as shown in figure. 
Note that since the switches switch 1 and switch 2 are the same ones used in the top rung, they will have the same names and the same reference designators when drawn in rung 2. This means that each of these two switches have two N slash O contacts on the switch assembly. Some designers prefer to place dashed lines between the two PB1 switches and another between the two PB2 switches to clarify that they are operated by the same switch actuator, in this case the actuator is a push button, when we have two or more components in parallel in a rung, each parallel path is called a branch. In our diagram in, rung 2 has two branches, one with PB1 and the other with PB2. It is possible to have branches on the load side of the rung also. For example, we could place another lamp in parallel with lamp 2 thereby creating a branch on the load side. It is important to note that in our ladder diagram, it is possible to exchange rungs 1 and 2 without changing the way the lamps operate. This is one advantage of using ladder diagramming. The rungs can be arranged in any order without changing the way the machine operates. It allows the designer to compartmentalize and organize the control circuitry so that it is easier to understand and troubleshoot. However, keep in mind that, later in this text, when we begin PLC ladder programming, the rearranging of rungs is not recommended. In a PLC, the ordering of the rungs is critical and rearranging the order could change the way the PLC program executes.